Okay, I wanted to give you a, a quick update on my ham in a can, QRP ham in a can project. And what I've done here is I've taken my little trickle charger and uh, put some uh, Anderson connectors on there to charge up the batteries. This is a very little, very small little trickle charger. So what I had to do is uh, turn on each battery individually until they got up to charge. And then I can leave them all turned on and the trickle charger will maintain it just fine. Now I've already turned the main power on. So you can see we're running 14.1. Let's pull this out of there and get it out of the way for now. Let's see what we got. 14. So the trickle charger was adding a teeny bit, but not that much. It's not going to bother operation. Now I not only wanted to uh, share my successes, and I have run this on JT65 and it works fine, but I thought I'd share my failures. <laughs> and the failure is this L-pad, uh, which the audio comes out of the uh, rig blaster through the L-pad into this little jack. And my original intent was to connect this uh, MFJ clear tone speaker in there. But this L pad is pretty much a failure. It's either all the way on or all the way off, and there really is no adjustment in between. Now, I did order this on eBay, <clears throat> so you know, you get what you get <laughs> quality wise. So, what I've decided to do instead is use this little Nagoya speaker. Uh, it's it's plugged in you see right there because it has its own volume control now I try to figure out a way how can I set this where can I put it etc etc what I ended up doing was I had a spare microphone mount uh, sitting around so that that actually works pretty well just to clip you know you can clip that anywhere let it set there so that worked pretty good so for uh, JT65, which is what I've tested it on so far, it worked great. Um, but this is designed for an emergency communication tool, so I need to do some experimentation with other digital modes. Uh, possibly a digital mode that you may be able to convey a little bit more information on it, like PSK or something of that nature. So that'll be my next chore, uh, will be to get other digital modes besides JT65 working on this little radio. Now I want to go ahead and show you the uh, the laptop that I'm using for that. Okay, this is nothing special. It's just a simple little Dell 13 inch uh, laptop. But what I've got here is I've got a really long USB cable that goes to the uh, the rig blaster that worked fine, and I was maintaining the power. For the laptop using a Dell uh, cigarette charger lighter adapter plugged directly into the ham in a can. So the four batteries that were in the ham in a can not only powering the uh, 817 but also uh, keeping the, the laptop up. Alright so here we've got the laptop uh, charger connected in, got the USB cable connected in, I've turned on ham radio deluxe, the 817 is running, and you can tell we got some JT65 coming across the little Nagoya speaker here. So all that seems to be working pretty well. Hi guys, Dave here. And I've decided to catch up with the rest of the YouTube world and create a Patreon account. If you like the content that you're seeing, the help videos, and uh, some of the new things that I try to show you, please support my channel. I put a link to the Patreon account below, and I would appreciate you uh, helping me out. Thanks for watching. And again, all my YouTube videos, content will always be free to my viewers. Thank you very much.